Hello mga learners. This is Sir Elmore again on my YouTube channel saying learn more, aim high. Welcome back guys and if you are new to my YouTube channel, can be subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates and in this video I will discuss solving quadratic equations by completing the squares and our objective here the students or the learners are able to solve quadratic equations by completing the squares Another method of solving quadratic equation is by completing the square. This method involves transforming the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 into the form quantity of x minus h squared equals k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. Again, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 is the standard form of our quadratic equation and the question is why k is greater than or equal to zero now remember in solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots if k is less than zero then the quadratic equation has no real solutions or roots instead we have imaginary solutions Okay, examples. Beginning with number 1, x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0. Now, I will show you guys on how to solve or to factor out this quadratic equation using completing the squares. And these are the step-by-step -step process. Letter A, divide both sides of the equation by a or by the value of a then simplify thus we have x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0 still we have the same equation since the value of a is 1 and any number divided by 1 is the number itself letter b Add the inverse operation of C to both sides of the equation. Again, the value of C here is negative 7 and the inverse operation of this is positive 7. So therefore, we're going to add 7 to both sides of the equation. Thus, we have x squared plus 6x minus 7 plus 7 equals 0 plus 7. Obviously, negative 7 plus 7 equals 0, and 0 plus 7 equals 7. We have x squared plus 6x equals 7. And you know what, guys? We can also use the transposition, wherein we will just move negative 7 to the right side of the equation. And take note, if we transpose, the sign will change from negative to positive, and from positive to positive negative. Letter C. Add the square of one half of B to both sides of the resulting equation in letter B. Now, let us take this one by one. Let us identify first the value of B in our new equation that can be found in letter B. Our new equation is x squared plus 6x equals 7. And here, the value of b is 6. What is 1 half of 6? So we will divide by 2. So we will divide 6 by 2, and that is 3. Then what is the square of 3? That is 9. So therefore, we will add 9 to both sides of the equation. We have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 7 plus 9. And after that, 
we will combine the terms on the right side. We have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 16. Now, observe. What can you say about the trinomial on the left side of the equation? Anyone? Okay. Very good. x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. Next, express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. How? This is just a very simple. We will just get the square root of the first term and then the square root of 9 and separate the terms by inserting the sign of the middle term and then square it. So we have quantity of x plus 3 squared equals 16. We will just copy the term on the right side of the equation. And that is the reason behind why this is called completing the square. We will complete the square of the left side of the equation. Next, letter E. So, the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root. Now, we have the square root of quantity of x plus 3 squared equals plus minus the square root of 16. To extract the square root of this, we will just cancel out or eliminate the radical symbol and the exponent 2, leaving x plus 3 equals plus minus the square root of 16 is 4. And from here, we will split the two equations. We have x plus 3 equals 4 and x plus 3 equals negative 4. Now, to solve for the value of x here, we will just do the easy way. That is transposition. We will just transpose positive 3 to the right side of the equation. We have x equals 4 minus 3. So from positive, it became negative. And 4 minus 3 is 1, so x equals 1. Next here. Again, transpose positive 3 to the right side, and it will become negative. We have x equals negative 4 minus 3. And negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Therefore, x equals negative 7. Let's do the checking. For x equals 1, and our original equation is x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0, let us substitute the value of x, which is 1. We have 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 7 equals 0. 1 squared is 1. Next, multiply 6 to 1, which is positive 6, and then copy negative 7 equals 0. 1 plus 6 equals 7, minus 7 equals 0. Obviously, 7 minus 7 equals 0, so 0 equals 0. Next, for x equals negative 7, let us substitute negative 7 to x of our original equation. We have negative 7 squared plus 6 times negative 7 minus 7 equals 0. Negative 7 squared, we have negative 7 times negative 7 equals 49. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42 minus 7 equals 7. 49 minus 42 is 7 minus 7 equals 0. And again, 7 minus 7 is 0. So, 0 equals 0. Okay? And our values of x are valid. Number 2. 2x squared plus 28x plus 48 equals 0. Again, following the process, letter A, we have to divide both sides of the equation by A, then simplify we have 2x squared plus 28x plus 48 all over 2 equals 
0 over 2. Thus, we have x squared plus 14x plus 24 equals 0. Since 2x squared divide 2 is x squared, 28x divide 2 is 14x, 48 divide 2 is 24, and finally, 0 divide 2 is 0. Next, add the inverse operation of C to both sides of the equation. Or we can just use the transposition. So we will transpose positive 24 to the right side and it will become negative. So we have x squared plus 14x equals negative 24. Letter C, add the square of 1 half of B to both sides of the resulting equation in B. Now, what is the value of B here? Okay, good, that is 14. And we will divide 14 by 2, that is 7. And the square of 7 is 49. So therefore, 49 is the number to be added to both sides of the equation. Thus, we have x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals negative 24 plus 49. And combine these terms, leaving x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 25. Again, what do you call this one? This is perfect square trinomial. Letter D, express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. So again, we will just get the square root of x squared and then the square root of 49 and insert the sign of the middle term in between term and then square. We have quantity of x plus 7 squared equals 25. We will just copy the, the term on the right side. Letter E, solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root. We have square root of quantity of x plus 7 squared equals plus minus square root of 25. Again, we will eliminate the radical symbol and we will cancel out 2 also. Leaving x plus 7 equals plus minus the square root of 25 is 5. And after that, we will split these two equations, we have x plus 7 equals 5 and x plus 7 equals negative 5. Solving for the values of x, we will just transpose positive 7 to the right side. To the right side. And we have here x plus 5 minus 7. 5 minus 7 plus negative 2. Therefore, x here equals negative 2. Next x equals negative 5 minus 7, negative 5 minus 7 equals negative 12, so x is negative 12. Checking, for x equals negative 2, our original equation is 2x squared plus 28x plus 48 equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x which is negative 2. We have 2 times negative 2 squared plus 28 times negative 2 plus 48 equals 0. Now, squaring negative 2, that is 4, times 2 equals 8. 28 times negative 2, that is negative 56 plus 48 equals 0. Next, 8 minus 56 equals negative 48 plus 48 equals 0. Obviously, negative 48 plus 48 equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. Check. Next, for x equals negative 12, substitute negative 12 to x of our original equation. We have 2 times negative 12 squared plus 28 times negative 12 plus 48 equals 0. Square of negative 12 is 144 times 2, 288. Positive 28 times negative 12 
equals negative 336 plus 48 equals 0. 288 minus 336 is negative 48 plus 48 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. Check. So therefore, our values of x are valid. Alright, mga learners, this is the end of our lesson or discussion which talk about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. And I hope you already know the concept of solving this kind of problems. And guys, before I will officially end or close with this session, I would like to share this to you. Perform the basic to refine your skills and be able to perform the more challenging problems by Sir Mar. Thank you so much.